Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing some empties. I don't remember the last time I did this and usually I take everything out and I lay it out and I decide what order I'm going to do it in and I start to do that and I'm like, yeah, not doing that. So I'm going to just randomly pull stuff out of my collection bag, which is one of these little Sephora tote bags and let's get started. So the first thing right on top, which I think is hysterical, I have two of these Elnet um, hairsprays from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Hairspray. So apparently sometimes I buy unscented and sometimes I buy the one for color treated hair. Uh, but they both have extra strong hold. I think it just depends on my mood or what's available in the store. That's just a holy grail for me. So next up is some shampoo and conditioner. This is from Matrix Biolage. It's the Ultra Hydra Source Shampoo and Conditioning Balm. And I really enjoyed this. This was a really great pair to use. My hair, my uh, colorist actually recommended this, this brand. This Biolage is a great drugstore brand, if you want to call it that. You know, this is easily found at Ulta. So if you consider Ulta Drugstore, I think it's probably a little bit more than what you would find in most drugstores, a little bit more expensive than what you would find in most drugstores, but still very reasonably tri priced and not like salon prices, which I'm so over that. I used, I've done it. I think we probably all have done it, but for me, I think shampoo and conditioner is pretty basic. Next up I have the Paula's Choice Resist Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. I love this cleanser. I actually have one um, that I'm using that I'm just about done with. So uh, this is a really great go-to cleanser. It's very similar to Cetaphil, that creamy cleanser Cetaphil, but I don't know. There's something about it. I just like it a little bit better. I feel like it's... Um, a little bit creamier. Now this is the one for, it says all skin types. They have one, a cleanser that's more geared towards oily skin. I don't like it as well. It's a little bit more foamy. This is the one I like because it's creamy and you don't feel like your skin is stripped when you're done. It just leaves you nice and soft. And for me sometimes, I don't even put a, a lotion on after I, that when I go to bed at night. That'll do it for me. All right, what else have we got in here? Oh, this is ran totally random. <laughs> but this is the Dove Dry Spray Invisible in the spray can. And this is the, what scent is this? Does this have a scent? It's the pink one. I don't know. I love this. I'm already into a second can of this. It doesn't have... Any um, color, like when you spray it on, you don't get any white marks from it. It's totally clear. The scent smells good, and I love it. So I think the thing to keep in mind is the one that has the 100 on it. It says no white marks on 100 colors. So they're not, they're not guaranteeing that you won't get a mark on every color, but I think that probably covers most of the spectrum. I've already repurchased this. I love it. This is my new go-to. If you're into deodorants, this is the Sebastian Trilliant Thermal Protection and Sparkle Complex. This is like, um, like a heat protectant for your hair. You spray it on damp hair before you use your hot tools. And it was like a dual phase product, so you'd had to shake it. I bought it thinking it was going to add a lot of shine to my hair. That was negligible. But I, I powered through and I ended up, I did finally use it up. I've had it for over a year. It's not something I would repurchase. Not that there was anything wrong with it, but it didn't do what I was expecting it to do. So that, that's, you know, my bad. I really thought it was going to offer a lot of shine. Not so much. That's most of the big stuff. Now we're down to the little stuff. All right, next up is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now, I'll say when I got this, I thought, oh, this is really cool, but I didn't really understand it, and I was kind of disappointed in it, and then I didn't use it very much, and then I was like, you know what? 
you need to just finish this up. This was kind of like one of those finish up products. And then as I used it a little bit more, I actually appreciated it a little bit more. I'm not sure I would run out and repurchase it. The nice thing about it is, is you can use it in a lot of different ways. You can spray it on before you start applying your makeup. You can use it kind of like as um, a finishing spray. I wouldn't say it's so much a setting spray because it more just kind of just takes some of the shine, um, takes some of the powderiness down. Um, you can certainly use it to spritz on your eyeshadow brushes. Um, sometimes I even put it directly on my beauty blender and used it to blend out product. So this, I, I liked it. I ended up in the end liking it, even though initially I was disappointed in it, but it's pretty unlikely that I would repurchase this. It just wasn't a wow me product for the price. All right, I have another shampoo and conditioner. This is from Orlando Pita Play, the Pearl Foam Smoothing Shampoo and the Silk Slip Smoothing Conditioner. Now these were sent to me in a PR package and I really did enjoy them. I, one of the things that I really particularly enjoyed about them is that um, this, the scent in it was very grown up. It wasn't like super uh, fruity or flower. It just was a nice kind of grown-up scent and I thought it did a really nice job on my hair. So out of all the things that were sent to me in that PR kit, because they did send me this whole line, um, these were the things I actually used up. So that tells you something right there. I have a bunch of other products that are nice but didn't really wow me and I haven't used them up. So I like these. And they are available at Ulta. All right, next up I have two uh, face, facial oils. One is from Physicians Formula, Argan Wear Argan Oil, and the other one is from L'Oreal. It's the Age Perfect Hydra Nutrition Glow Renewal. So I bought both of these when I was working on a drugstore skincare routine. I started off with this one thinking it was going to be great. It was so heavily scented that I could not use it on my face. It was like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't like a lot of fragrance on my face. And then I went out and I picked up this, which I really quite enjoy. This is a great facial oil from the drugstore. Now I know Physician's Formula isn't the cheapest products uh, in the drugstore, but you know, it's certainly more reasonable than some ones that are available in Sephora. So you're gonna go, well, how did you end up using this? Well, like all, <laughs> Beauty products that you're unhappy with for your face, I use them elsewhere on my body. And so I use this as a hydrating oil on my arms, my legs, my hands, my cuticles, until I used it up. So uh, I would not repurchase this. Too fragrance. Too much fragrance. But yes, I would repurchase this. What are these? The Lash Nourish Makeup Remover Pads from Pixie. So these are pre-moistened little pads. I do have a fresh one here, so I can show you what the pad looks like. Just, you know, your typical eye makeup remover pads. And obviously, like, I liked it enough to buy another uh, jar of them. They are very fresh feeling on the skin, so they don't um, have a strong fragrance, and they're not super oily. And they just have a really nice, fresh is the best way to describe it. It does say that they are... Uh, lash nourishing makeup remover pads with argan oil and pantheol water makeup proof waterproof makeup dissolver depends on how strong your waterproof mascara is i recently have been using this lash paradise a couple times and i don't find this removes that at all i have to go in with like a really heavy duty dual phase eye makeup remover but for like just general everyday makeup removing. You know, I'll wash my face with this. This takes like 80% of the eye makeup off and then I'll finish up with this and just finish taking the mascara off. And that works great for me and it's gentle on the eyes. It has some nourishing products so I like it and I've repurchased it. But it's not going to be a soup. If you wear a really heavy duty uh, waterproof mascara, no. 
not gonna get that. All right, still more, more to come. I used up the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This has an SPF of 30. The shade I was using is opal, a little too light for me. This is, I think, the second tube that I've finished. I really like this, and I would definitely repurchase this again. I think it's a fantastic product, and you don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I loved it using it on my face and finishing off with a little bit of a powder foundation over the top of it just to kind of smooth out the edges. Have repurchased it, will probably repurchase it again. I have a lot of like BBCC creams right now using them first. This is the Paula's Choice Resist C15 Super Booster. It's 15% vitamin C. I didn't quite use this up, but it has become discolored and I decided it's not, it's been, it's oxidized too much. So I'm pitching it. I used almost all of it. I really like this, but these vitamin C serums are really unstable. So you have to really be careful and make sure that you use them right away. I'm scared to look. I have another one of these in my backup bin and I hope it hasn't oxidized before even using it. To be continued on that. I have one more thing from Paula's Choice. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Intensive Repair Cream for dry, very dry skin and it has a retinol in it and I use this primarily as an eye cream. It's great. I loved it. Uh, I'm experimenting with a new eye cream now but I would definitely repurchase this. I think this is really uh, a great product. It's all self-contained. There was a little bit in there. Who knew? Such a nice, smooth formula. Very creamy. I love this. I have two things from the Mario Badescu skincare line. One is their drying lotion and the other is their facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Kate and I use this for our breakouts. I've already repurchased it. I really like it. It is something that when you get it, it has show you on this newer one. It's like a liquid and then a pink sediment. And what you do is you just, you let it sit, you dip your Q-tip in so you get some of the pink stuff on and pull it out and apply. I think it works great for breakouts that have like come to a head and need that extra push to dry it out and make them go away. I think it speeds it up and not overnight, but I would say definitely in a couple days. It, it probably speeds up the healing process by a day or two, which I'm all about that. The quicker I can get those breakouts off my face, the happier I am. And Kate loves this too. She uses this a lot. The setting spray was really quite nice, except for I found that it had a pretty harsh delivery, like big droplets came out of this. I like a really fine mist to come out with my setting spray. So I don't know, sometimes when you go to these smaller little trial bottles, the mister may not be as good as it is on the full size. If anyone has used the full size, let us know if the if the spritzer is a little is a fine mist or if you feel like it's more droplets. I felt like this was just sprinkling droplets on my face. And it actually I'm miss saying it's not really a setting spray, it's a finishing spray. So um, it's not gonna make your makeup last longer, it's just going to uh, finish the look and decrease the powdery look on your face. Uh, I used up the Flower Bomb Perfume Rollerball from Victor and Rolf. This is so beautiful. It's a floral, has a little bit of a floral smell to it. Ugh, just love it. Speaking of perfume, I also have this little sample vial of the YSL Mont Paris, a slightly warmer version of the uh, Flower Bomb. These two are my absolute favorite perfumes. Like, I would probably buy a full size. Except for, I have several deluxe samples of both of those from Sephora, so using those up first. Because perfume is expensive. I always look to see when I'm shopping at Sephora and I'm checking out if they have a little perf, you know, deluxe perfume samples uh, as like point perks. Even if they're 500 points, I will get them because I think that's an excellent way to use up your points if it's a, if it's a fragrance you like. Just a little tip from me. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Ultra Light Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum for Normal to Oily Skin. This is a great serum. I have 
used countless tubes of this and if you're looking for a good serum she has a great assortment of serums they all come in tubes like this and you can pick and choose for whichever uh, skin concern you have so this is one that's really great it's anti-aging and for uh, oily skin don't find that very often for uh, skincare anti-aging skincare for oily skin but she does have a whole line of products for that gotta love that I think I have worn the why can't I hold on to anything today this is the hourglass that 1.55 mil super skinny gel liner which I really quite like but I've been using this one from Marc Jacobs similar similar size tips and I think I like the Marc Jacobs one equally and maybe a little bit better. So uh, this is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum and it has like a little felt tip pen. If you're a real eyeliner fanatic, this is a great one from the drugstore. This is from Blistex. It's the Anti-Aging Treatment Deep Renewal Lip Balm. I use this a ton. I already have a new one in my kit and it's super creamy. I really like it. The funny thing is, I picked up the, um, the Bite Beauty Agave lip balm thinking this is going to be so wonderful. It is so hard and kind of hard, dry, like to drag, it like kind of drag, you have to drag it onto your lips. This is so smooth and it just flows on. I actually prefer this to the one from Bite. Now, I'm going to slowly work on my the one from Bite, use it up, but um, I already have another one of these open in my, in my drawer there. It's great. Then speaking of lip products, I used up this uh, NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Angel Food Cake. I think this has almost a cult following. It's just a beautiful nudie pink. These butter glosses are fabulous. I would definitely repurchase this, but right now I have a lot of different lip products, so um, it's not high on my list to repurchase, but I, re I highly recommend this. All right, I'm ditching the mascara. This is the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Waterproof from L'Oreal, but it was old, dried up. I think I've had more than one tube of this. I probably used this a little bit more before I found the Butterfly Lash, but it's good. It's a good drugstore. Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. This is the bomb.com. I use, Kate and I both use this. I love it. It's an excellent drugstore cuticle remover, and this bottle lasts a long time. Even with the two of us using, it lasts a long time. I picked up this brush from e.l.f. It's a masking brush, and it has like a silicone paddle thing on this side. You're supposed to use this to scoop out of the jar, apply it, and then it has this little smaller brush side. Neither side works very well. It was a total waste of money. This is like kind of floppy. It's sometimes hard to scoop out the product with it. I don't think it does a great job spreading it. And this is so small, it's like, what is this really for? I don't know. I never used this side. I used it once and I was like, this takes off more product than it applies. I think you're better off using an inexpensive flat foundation brush. You probably have one that came in like a brush set that you don't really even use very much. Just put that one aside and use it to apply your masks. You'll have a much better outcome. All right, I'm down to my last two items. And this is the Paula's Choice Healthy Finish Press Powder in SPF 15. And yeah, I used all that up. I have four minutes left on my card. And then these are the Lorac um, Liquid Luster set from a couple of holiday seasons ago. I really loved them. They were so much fun to use. They have totally dried up, so I'm pitching them. I think at one point she did have these as a permanent part of the line. I haven't seen them in there lately. I would buy them again if she brought out another set. They're just fun. I didn't use them a ton, but they were just fun. Whew, that was a heck of a lot of products. I'm going to sign off. I hope you are having a great day, and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.